course three, lesson 48, we are looking at percent of a whole, and especially using something like a three row ratio table or an equation or a proportion in order to solve these problems. So our percents can be set up in a proportion like this. We can say things like is over of equals percent over 100. Is and of come up in our equations quite a bit. So whatever um, is the is, this is the part of the whole. The of is our, always the whole. So we can also think of it as part over whole equals percent over 100. Now the other thing that we can use in, is an equation and we can say percent of the whole is equal to the part. All right, if I take a portion of the whole, that gives me the part. All right, and then we'll look at a three row ratio table with an example. But first, let's try um, using either an equation or proportion to solve this. It says 42% of 610. Well, if we're using the is over of, the of is right there, 610 but I don't know what is 600, what is the part of 610. I know my percent is 42 out of 100. So I can go ahead and cross multiply here. And so we're gonna multiply 610 times 42, and it gives me uh, 25,620 is equal to 100x. So to solve this, I'm gonna divide by 100, and when I do that, I am going to get 256.2 equaling x. That is 42% of 610. Let's try another one maybe with an equation. So 7% of 432. Well, if we're doing percent of the whole is equal to the part, then we're going to be doing 7% of my whole 432 to give me the part. And I can change 7% into a decimal, 0 0.07 times 40, 432. Well, when I multiply those, I end up with 30.24. That is the part that is 7% of 432. Okay, how about this one? 500 is 64% of what number? Let's use a three row ratio table in this one. And remember we use the ratio and the actual count. So we're gonna say the ratio, that's my percentage. So we're talking about something that's 64%. A total is always 100. And well, whatever's left over goes in the other row, which in this case is 36. Well, we know that 500 is 64%. So the actual count here is 500. I want to know what the total was. What was this whole right here? Which means I can set up a proportion to say 64 out of 100 is equal to 500 over x. So I can cross multiply and get 64x is equal to 50,000. And then I'm going to divide by 64. When I do that, I end up seeing that it's 781 and 25 cents. That means that my entire thing was $781 and 25 cents, and 64% of that is that $500. I'm just gonna do a couple more examples. How much will tax be on an $85 item with 6.75% tax? For me, an equation is probably the easiest for this one. So I'm gonna say the part or the percentage, 6.75% times my whole 85 is gonna give me the part that I need to pay for tax. And so I change this into a decimal, 0 0.0675, remember divide by 100, times 85. And when I do that, 0 0.0675 times 85, it gives me well, technically, it gives me 5.7375. But we're not going to see that at the um, register. We're going to see it with just two decimals after. But this 7 right here tells me that I'm going to need to round up and find that my total tax is $5.74. Okay, um, let's look at this with a three-row ratio table. 
how much will be saved on a $140 item that has a 30% discount? So I want to know what is that 30% discount? So my 30% discount, my total of 100%, and the total, 100%, is that $140. But we're not going to have to pay that. We're actually going to pay the 70%. Um, but I want to know what the 30% is. How much am I saving? What is that 30% discount? So when I do this, I have 30 over 100 is equal to x over 140. And here I'm going to simplify a little bit. 3 over 10. And I'm going to cross multiply to say that we get 10x is equal to, well, 140 times 3, which gives me 420. And we divide by 10 and see that x, I'm going to save $42. Which means when I actually get up to the register and pay that 70%, I'm going to take off $42 and have to pay $98. Here are a bunch of other examples that you can try on your own. Pause the video and try them. All right. And I hope this is helpful for your homework and for studying.